Emma, you ready? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> Good morning, Halifax. What a beautiful day today. And immediately off the bat, we might be missing our bus. <laughs> All right. This is the beginning of one of the craziest and most fun travel stories I've ever lived to tell. This is my girlfriend, Emma, and we're traveling for the very first time together. We're leaving from our home in Halifax, Nova Scotia to go to the center of Canada in Toronto, Ontario. And as you'll see throughout the video, this does not go as according to plan. So today is a very, very interesting day. Today, both of us, are flying to Toronto. 8.48 a.m. Our flight leaves at a quarter after noon. We have about three hours before our flight actually takes off, but we still have to get to the airport. Compared to my last video about flying, which was like my first time ever flying in 15 years, I'm a lot more enthusiastic about going flying. So Emma. Yeah. Do tell us, what are you so excited for about this trip? I've never done a trip before. I've like, Never traveled. Never traveled. Never traveled. First time on a plane, first time west of, well, on a map, Yarmouth, but you could say Moncton. Excitement is in the building, oh, that's, that's for so sure. <laughs> day today. We're at the airport now. Gotta go through the long lines of airport security and all that stuff. So we've got another two hours before our flight departs. And knowing this airport, I think security is gonna go by decently quick. We're in the super secret club. The super secret club. <laughs> the club where you can only get to if you're flying. We got through security in less than 10 minutes. We have another hour and I 50 did, minutes. I did so much better than you. <laughs> I forgot my hard drives and they were like, what are these? And I was like, oh, that's my hard drive. Welcome to flying. This is pretty much oh what it's God, like. It's, insane. it's ridiculous. First time in the airport. How does it feel? Strange. It's, it's busy. <laughs> well, it's all, oh my goodness, there's so many flights that leave from here. So, normally to get to Toronto, you'd fly to either Pearson International Airport or Billy Bishop Airport. But we decided to save a buck. We're gonna fly to another airport that's about two hours away from the Toronto city. It's in Kitchener Waterloo. Two, three hundred dollars cheaper for our tickets, so I think it was a better idea. But that just makes getting to Toronto a lot more interesting because we have to navigate our way around Kitchener, which is a city about the size of Halifax from what I've seen. This will actually be the furthest west in Canada I've ever gone. What are your thoughts on this? Save money, live better. Save money, live better. <laughs> Quote that. What? No, what? What's that from? It's from an ad. It's, it's, it's a, a slogan. Walmart slogan. It's Walmart. <laughs> it's the Walmart <laughs> Why wow, you gotta change on us like that? So when you're flying, you gotta be careful because they just changed the gate on us. Boarding starts in 10 minutes and they just decided, hmm, we're gonna change the gate on you folks. So we were over in 16 wondering why it was so quiet and now it's over at gate 12, so. Which is where all the people are. <laughs> this is why you double check. Gate James, Scott Thorwell, Darlene Champagne. All right, according to TripAdvisor, these are the 15 best things you can do in Kitchener. It seems like a big thing to do in Kitchener is go on a hot air balloon. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> Canoeing. I like canoeing. I like kayaking. Kayaking's fun. Anyway, we're only gonna be in Kitchener for like lunch and then we're going to Toronto on the train. We're not gonna be there for long. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Boarding Flair, this is my first time ever on Flair Airlines. Canada's low budget airline. I mean, it, it's, was it was pretty cheap. It was pretty cheap. Let's see. <laughs> on the plane, how does it feel? <laughs> and then look at our view.
hate the landing sequence. All right, Kitchener Airport. Furthest west I've ever been in Canada. First taste of Kitchener, Ontario. And the first thing I said is this is a suburban hell. <laughs> Every house is identical. I hate that. I hate it so much. Oh, thank you. My bus fare. Let it be known that when you get to the Kitchener airport, there is no bus that gets you to downtown, so we had to take a taxi to a bus stop. We just took our first bus and we're transferring on to another bus that's gonna take us into downtown, where we're gonna get to the Kitchener GO train station, and then we're gonna take the GO train to Union Station, Toronto. If you're flying from Halifax to Kitchener, anywhere to Kitchener, to try and get to Toronto, sure, it's cheaper, but it is a hell of a lot more difficult to get there than flying to Pearson. We're off the bus. And the train station for the GO trains is just over there. We've got a GO train to catch in about 15 minutes. Whew, making tight connections after tight connections. And then this happened. So we just got an announcement at the station that our bus, is, or our train is canceled. And now we have to take a bus down to Toronto Union Station. Lots of people were expecting to take the train. I mean, to be fair, with the amount of connections we had to make today, I figured something was going to go wrong sooner or later. We have to make another one too. Oh, do we? No, no, no. I thought this one was going to take us right to Toronto. To Bramley. Ah. Yeah, because the train's cancelled between here and Guelph. So we probably have to make that connection in Bramley. Yeah, that's why it said without any stops from Kitchener to Union Station. That would be nice. I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to say anything, but that's what I just heard. So it's all good. <laughs> Everybody's confused. Everybody doesn't know what's happening. I think it's time I pull up my list of 15 best things to do in Kitchener. Oh man, 3.02 right now. We've been sitting here for about half an hour. Oh, I have no idea where the bus is. I don't think anybody does. My biggest worry was the possibility of a heat stroke. Since we'd been sitting in the sun for about half an hour, it was 25 degrees Celsius. I was constantly checking Twitter to see if there was any information about the bus reschedules, but I had heard absolutely nothing from Twitter and everyone else was as confused as I was. Enjoy the destination, but have a lot of patience to love the way there too. And then after a hundred people People sat in the sun for about an hour. Oh, I think this is the one going to Toronto. Even the bus drivers are confused. So the new plan here, we're not going straight to Union, we're going to a place called Bramalee where we have to transfer off this bus to a train that'll take us to Union Station. astonished at how wide the roads and highways are. You don't get this in Halifax. Next stop, Prochain Marais, Bramaligo. All right, so this is Bramaligo Station, where we have to make a transfer to a GO train now. On the train platform, Looks like we have 20 minute wait. Scratch that, for the second time today, they changed platforms on us and we're on we're the here. other oh, side. Oh. Platform four up here. That's what we need to go. Yes, up this one. Yeah, yeah. On the train. Finally. Emma and I just worked it out. So let's let's, recap. let's yeah, recap yeah, here. Yeah. Bus, 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 plane, taxi, bus, 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 and then there was the train, Not but bus, train. it's a bus. Now we're on bus, this train, train, and then we're gonna have to catch a metro when we're in Toronto. Nine, Nine connections <laughs> in a span of 
This is our 10th hour of travel. <laughs> our next stop is Toronto. <laughs> Busiest train station in Canada and one of the busiest train stations in North America. So we have to go downstairs. Subway's down this way. Why is there a Sephora in Union Station? What? It's Union Station. What? They have a decaf. Yeah, in the train station. What? I'm telling you, this place is nuts. Even when I was here last year, I don't remember it being this busy. This is crazy. Holy crap. on a subway. Ooh. This is our ninth and final transfer of the day. It is. You, you that, get used to that, the metro. That though. station is nuts. Yeah, Union's crazy. Subway, just gotta head to Queen Street and then head to our hotel. I'm on Queen Street right now. Beautiful weather. They were calling for thunderstorms and I was really scared that it was gonna be pouring rain when we got here, but it is so sunny here in Toronto. What do you think so far? It's nice. You like it here? Yes. Oh my. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, now hold on. Get this city view. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, the Toronto sign. That's sick. I want a picture with that. Oh my God. <sighs> At the end of a 10 and a half hour travel day, we finally make it to downtown Toronto in our hotel. We make it to what might be my favorite hotel view I have ever gotten. Uh, this is Emma's. It's me, I'm the view. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is why I'm looking this it. way. <laughs> this is Emma's first ever time in downtown Toronto. First time in Ontario. First time leaving the <laughs> Maritimes. Time, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. You could call it an adventure, a misadventure, whatever you want to call it. An exhaustion. An, ex <laughs> an exhaustion. That's a good way to put it. Once I got to the hotel, I kind of put the camera away for the rest of this trip. I wanted Emma to have a great travel experience without shoving a camera in her face, so I decided to keep it away and let us have our genuine experiences in such a cool city. We had an absolutely amazing time, minus the way back where we had to go to Kitchener and we didn't get any sleep at all. But this Toronto trip was one of the most fun things that I remember doing in my life. And I definitely look back on this weird adventure with a smile and a comment of, I hope I never do that again. Thank you very much to Emma for being a part of this. That is gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes. If you have any comments or suggestions, places I should visit, ideas for videos, please drop them in the comments below. And if you like my videos, don't hesitate to subscribe. With that, remember to enjoy the destination, but love the way there too. See you folks next time.